Okay, so congratulations to those of you who made it uh, despite the strike. <laughs> um, so it's a pleasure uh, for me to, uh, I was supposed to organize this session, so this is why Pierre-Yves uh, asked me to say a few words. Um, <coughs> uh, initially, the title should have been uh, Big Data and the End of Theory, because some people have uh, thought uh, uh, from an academic point of view on, uh, on this issue. My, unfortunately, I was not able to, to invite uh, epistemologists. Uh, so we are going to learn on this topic from a more uh, practical uh, point of view, and we are going to see uh, how uh, 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 practitioners uh, use big data and, uh, and how it articulates or not uh, with uh, theory. So it's... Uh, uh, I think it's a very good thing for this conference to have a number of people from uh, the uh, uh, business uh, uh, uh <coughs> sphere and from the non-academic sphere. And I'm very glad to uh, uh, introduce Tan Longwin from QuantCube, who will talk about massive data analytics for macro now casting. Thank you very much for, for coming. Thank you very much uh, for this uh, invitation. The title could have been, in fact, the end of the theory too, uh, but for uh, macroeconomics, uh, but for the short-term part. Uh, so, uh, uh, what uh, I'm going uh, to uh, present uh, for this half an hour is about uh, uh, the latest uh, technology to estimate uh, the macroeconomics uh, in real time. Uh, what I mean by uh, economic growth in real time, the employment market, inflation in real time. Uh, uh, Etc. Um, so, um, Concube Technology is a French uh, startup uh, which has been uh, created uh, six years uh, ago and specialized in economic intelligence uh, based on uh, big data uh, analytics. Uh, after I'm going to mention what is what we mean by uh, big data. Uh -huh. uh, before uh, I am the, so I am the CEO of uh, Concube and uh, before uh, creating uh, Concube uh, Technology. Uh, I have uh, spent all my careers on uh, investment banks. Uh, I started back uh, to the end of the uh, 90s uh, on uh, what, uh, at the previous talk, it was mentioned about automated uh, trading. Uh, so it was uh, my uh, previous uh, job for all those uh, last uh, 20 years, uh, uh, which I am passionate about, not about automated trading, but about investments. Uh. And I learned uh, one thing, and you are not going to be uh, surprised, is uh, how to deliver performance uh, on the financial markets, uh, it's uh, very easy. Uh, it's about how to get and analyze information before everybody. Uh, so this is uh, one uh, lesson that I have learned among uh, my career. And uh, what I want to present, it's about uh, how we're able to do it. Uh, because uh, now the power of big data is to have uh, all this information in real time. Uh, the power of computing is uh, to analyze all this uh, information. So uh, now uh, the company, I mean, it's... Um, develops uh, very fast uh, the uh, control okay. oh, perfect thank you very much uh -huh. so the company has been uh, funded uh, last year by moody's as uh, a credit rating agency case de depot uh, as well as the european uh, space agency uh, why the european space agency uh, because uh, we uh, analyze uh, lots of uh, satellite uh, data analytics uh, so I'm going to take uh, five minutes as well uh, to show you what we are able uh, to do in terms of satellite uh, data analytics using high resolution satellite data, low resolution, etc. As well, um, in terms of, uh, we have uh, first we think in terms of use cases, uh, what uh, we plan to do. So uh, we have some macroeconomics experts. So uh, uh, one, uh, one member of the team is a former uh, director of uh, International Macroeconomics of the Central Bank of France uh, as well. We have uh, quite a few uh, former uh, traders in commodities, in cash equity markets among the team. Uh, as well, uh, we have an uh, infrastructure team uh, to have uh, access uh, to all kinds of uh, data that I'm going to show. And uh, we have also a team of uh, what you call the data scientist team to analyze text, to analyze pictures, or to analyze the structured uh, data. Huh? Also, we are quite involved in data science uh, competitions around the world, as well in computer vision, as well in natural language process, uh, so in, te in text analytics. Uh -huh. So this is a sample of uh, data that uh, we have. Uh, uh, we have really billions of uh, data. Uh, we have data 
from social media in real time, uh, not only uh, from Twitter, but uh, from China, from Weibo, in Arabic, in uh, Russian, uh, etc. We analyze blogs uh, because you have lots of information from blogs. Uh, as well, um, we get data from uh, retail uh, data uh, uh, as well. <laughs> I mean, real listed data. And uh, transform data, we have uh, data from the toll, you know, the toll data from highways uh, as well. So it tells you uh, about uh, economic growth in uh, countries. Uh, we get uh, all the data, all the financial reports uh, from any uh, company, 10K reports, 8K, 4K reports. Uh, and we are always open to new data sets. Uh, so last, one of the last data sets that we have just acquired, if you want to get some liquidity from the uh, central bank, you can put some collateral. Uh, so so uh, as collateral, uh, you can put what you call a CLO, collateral loan obligations. It means uh, we have more than 25 million uh, loans uh, which are updated uh, every month. Uh, so automotive loan, uh, residential real estate loans, uh, commercial real estate loans. We have uh, 25 pr 20 to 25% of all the loans in the uh, European uh, Union. Uh -huh. Uh, another data set that we have just acquired is uh, what you call air freight data, uh, you know. Uh, for example, uh, you know, air by air, it's only 1% of international trade, but 32, 33% uh, in terms of trade value. So we are able to track electronics, uh, vaccines, uh, live animals, flowers, uh, through planes. Uh, too. Uh -huh. Oh, at a very, uh, okay, we don't have the first name and last name uh, of uh, the, <laughs> the, the, the owner of, of the loan, but we have really at uh, the most granular uh, detail, uh, how, uh, you know, the price of the car or, for example, let's say you buy uh, some real estate, you know, what is uh, the price of the real estate uh, as well. So it tells you uh, as well, uh, not only uh, uh, you know, the trends in terms of real estate prices, you have uh, basically 50 attributes, uh, which is uh, quite, uh, it quite uh, granular. Uh -huh. So, uh, for example, uh, for credit risk, uh, for example, we can tell you uh, you have a late payment in the automotive uh, loans in this part of Germany. We have the city here, uh, at city level, too, for example. So, um, so okay, our objective uh, is, uh, as I have mentioned, to estimate the macroeconomics numbers. I mean, uh, what we want to try is uh, how to predict the present, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, uh, it uh, sounds uh, quite obvious, but uh, it's quite uh, difficult sometimes. Uh -huh. So uh, there are, uh, you know, what uh, what we do is uh, how to create some leading indicators of uh, official macro uh, numbers. Uh -huh. And uh, so there are two ways to show that how it performs. Either the high correlation between our real-time numbers and official numbers that are published two weeks, one month, two months, or three months later. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, when sometimes official numbers are not uh, of uh, high quality, so we're going to show how we can develop some uh, investment uh, strategy based on those uh, macro numbers. We cover not only G7, but China. Huh? And uh, I will show you uh, some very, sti uh, very interesting numbers that we have on China as well, huh, too. Huh? And those data that we provide are non-revised uh, data as well. Huh? So, I mean, there are quite a few applications uh, uh, out of uh, the index that we provide uh, from forex arbitrage for equity investments, uh, macroeconomic uh, research. Uh, uh, as well, we are very open uh, to uh, write uh, some uh, academic uh, articles uh, based on uh, the data we, uh, that uh, we have. Not only, I mean, we do economic growth, inflation, I'm going to show you uh, uh, how uh, we, we do that. Uh, so first, what is very important, we think in terms of use cases, what we want uh, to do. After we go to get the data that we need, and we have a significant uh, budget for data acquisition, uh, and after we analyze uh, those uh, data. What I want to say is that uh, data and AI are only tools uh, for us. Uh, behind that, it's really fundamentals uh, behind. So first, uh, I mean, uh, after I show you how we're able to do it, uh, those are some results. In red, uh, there are official uh, numbers uh, of uh, the, the US uh, GDP. Uh, in blue, this is uh, the estimation of uh, the US uh, GDP, uh, and uh, I'm going to explain the methodology uh, just after after that. And uh, what I wanted uh, to show you, it is especially those numbers in China. Uh, so in uh, in red, uh, this is the official uh, number, uh, 
And in blue, this is how we track uh, the Chinese economic growth. Uh, there are two ways uh, for us uh, to track uh, Chinese economic growth. Uh, so uh, I'm going to develop a little bit more about uh, the methodology uh, that uh, we have. Uh -huh. Let me first uh, give you an example. First, uh, inflation. Uh -huh. So uh, what we have done on inflation, in fact, uh, uh, you know, we have looked at uh, the composition of the inflation uh, from you know, the INSEE. Uh -huh. And after what we have studied, it is what are the components uh, of uh, inflation that explain the most of the variance of inflation. Uh. So we have developed that with an uh, investment bank. Uh, and uh, you have uh, five uh, components uh, that explain uh, the inflation, uh, especially fruits, vegetables, uh, uh, fuel, uh, travel packages, uh, and, uh, uh, and, uh, I, uh, and there is a fifth one. Uh, uh, no, uh, because it's uh, f uh, housing is uh, slow, fuel, uh, fruits and vegetables, fuel, travel and cl uh, travel packages. Uh, did I travel packages, clothes, fuel, ve vegetables, and fruits? Uh, so, so, so it means that after we're going to track each of these components uh, one by one, and it means uh, that uh, we have more than five million uh, prices a day. Uh, so we have all the prices of the latest, uh, you know. Cherry tomatoes, uh, grab tomatoes, all kinds of caliber, 40, 45, 45, uh, 50, uh, etc. So we track a uh, component by uh, component. Uh, and uh, at the end, uh, this is uh, how uh, you, know, you have the official uh, inflation uh, in gray. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the first uh, release uh, is uh, two weeks uh, later, on the 15th of each month. Uh, and uh, by construction, we're going to be uh, 15 days uh, in advance. Uh, and you can see that we have a very high uh, correlation uh, to uh, you know this is uh, so what i want to say it is how we uh, we study each macro indicators we're going to uh, uh, try to understand what are the components and uh, that drives uh, that explains uh, the variance of each indicator so uh, i took the, uh, the example of inflation as uh, now i could uh, i can take uh, the inflation of uh, the example of economic growth uh, so for economic growth, in fact, the economic growth of Saudi Arabia is different from the economic growth of uh, Germany or China or the US. And in fact, we're, what we're going to see is what are the sectors of the economy that drives uh, the economic growth of each uh, country. Uh, so this is uh, how we have tackled uh, the, 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 the problem, uh, this challenge. Uh, this is the first way of tackling uh, it. Uh, and after, I'm going to show you how we are able uh, to uh, estimate the health of each uh, sector of the economy one by one. The second way is to do it uh, by a component. Uh, so you have uh, the consumer expenses, uh, the investment, government uh, expense, uh, exports and imports. And we're going to track each of these uh, single component uh, one by one. To her. So at the end, uh, I think we have a very good view about uh, what's going on uh, you know, in, uh, in this w economic world. So. Let me give you an example. Uh -huh. If you look at, uh, you know, uh, the all the different uh, granular uh, components of the consumer exponents, uh, consumer expenses. Uh, in fact, what we're going to look at what are the most uh, correlated uh, uh, component. Uh -huh. And one of the component uh, that is uh, very uh, correlated, it's uh, in fact leisure. Uh, you know, how much uh, you spend in restaurants, in hotels, uh, you know, etc. So what I want to show here, uh, in fact. Uh -huh, for the consumer expenses, in fact, uh, in the case of China, why China? Because this is a country where you have the least, uh, the less number of uh, data compared to the US. In the US, you have so much data, or you can buy all the data that you want, uh, uh, to make it simple. Uh, uh, and But in China, it's much more difficult. Uh, uh. So, uh, in fact, we track uh, this consumer, uh, we track, in fact, all uh, the outbound uh, Chinese uh, tourists uh, uh, by tracking, uh, you know, the, in fact, we track m more than 80,000 ships, uh, you know, ships, uh, tankers, but to, uh, cruise ships, uh, etc. We track uh, as well the flights, uh, as well how many, you know, tourists, you can, uh, how many passengers you have by plane, uh, etc. And at the end, uh, in red, uh, this is uh, the official number from uh, Thailand uh, here, uh, in this case. Uh, and uh, in blue, uh, this is the official uh, number that, uh, no, not the official, this is the number that we estimate. So you can see that the official number is uh, 10 months uh, lagging, uh -huh, and that we have a very, yes? Sorry, you say you track, 
Oh, very simple here. It's only addition number of uh, here. It's uh, only a number of uh, ships uh, that goes uh, from China to Thailand. Number of planes uh, coming uh, from uh, China to Thailand. So you don't have uh, here in this case any machine learning. In this case, uh, I'm going to show you how we use machine learning. But this is a very addition, uh, basically. <laughs> The most uh, simple uh, addition, and uh, to answer, to tell you that why w you can see that uh, below, where uh, below the official number, is that uh, the the reason why is because we don't track uh, Chinese tourists arriving by bus in Thailand. This is uh, probably the reason that uh, you know that we don't have uh, the. the Yeah, uh, in fact, uh, because, yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, because, in fact, all, in, uh, all of our indicators uh, we have done uh, from minus uh, 100 to uh, 100, uh, because what we are interested in as well is a uh, year of year change. Uh, yeah, in this case, uh, it is year of uh, year change, uh, I believe. Uh -huh. it's a year of year yes, uh, year yes, uh, exactly. Uh -huh. And this is more what uh, we are interested in, is more the year of year change. Uh, and in this case, uh, what uh, we can show is that uh, you have uh, less uh, tourists uh, coming, uh, you know, uh, Chinese co tourists uh, coming to Thailand. Uh, and in Thailand, 40% uh, of the GDP depends on tourism, and more than 50% uh, uh, of tourists are Chinese. Uh -huh. So, Yeah, and uh, in fact, also uh, what uh, we do as well, uh, you know, we're going uh, to look at, uh, you know, the average over, you know, the, uh, a full month because sometimes you can have more tourists on weekends, uh, you know, uh, etc. So uh, we do uh, as well uh, that. Uh, huh. So this is uh, some uh, what I want uh, to show as well is uh, here you you can have uh, quite a few applications. First, uh, on the foreign exchange, so you know you can expect. I mean. So the so Thai baht uh, to uh, depreciate uh, against the U.S. Uh, dollar, or it can tell you, give you a view on the Thai, uh, Thailand economy. But as well, it tells you about the con Chinese consumer expenses because when uh, you aggregate uh, all uh, those uh, tourist, uh, uh, Chinese tourists around the world, it's going to tell you, you know, what we assume is that if you uh, have more uh, tourists, uh, then you are going to have more consumption, and, and uh, you know, conversely, uh -huh, to her. Uh. So here it's a very basic. Uh, I mean, in fact, uh, we use as uh, well as a very stati uh, very uh, basic statistic to uh, deep learning models for computer vision that I'm going uh, to uh, present uh, as well. Uh, to, uh. I mean, our objective is really to track economic growth, and uh, this is the only objective. So I mean, this is at the end uh, what you get. Uh, this is. A I mean, our business is a platform business. Uh. I mean, yeah, yeah, our customers are basically financial institutions. Uh, so we are global macro hedge funds, uh, pension funds, uh, as well as Central Bank of France, uh, as well. Uh, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, is there, there was a collaboration between Concube and Central Bank of France, in fact, uh, for the occupancy rate of hotels. Uh, in fact, you have a positive uh, relationship between the price of hotel room and the occupancy rate of hotel. Uh, too, huh? So uh, it is, it was published in the press uh, too. Uh, uh. So uh, yeah, so this, uh, those are more financial, uh, you know, institutions uh, too. For asset uh, allocation or where to invest. Uh, uh. So uh, what's uh, or something? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, maybe I, I'm going to go through directly here at sector level uh, because here it's going to be more about uh, you know uh, as well uh, how we use a uh, machine lear learning. Here, in fact, uh, what I want to show, uh, we have a really a supply-demand uh, uh, approach. Uh, and, uh, for example, uh, on the demand, uh, not only uh, we're going to track uh, all the tankers and what is the distance of uh, tankers, uh, but now, as well, uh, we are able uh, to uh, predict uh, what you call uh, the BDI index. Uh, so this is the price uh, of uh, the freight maritime freight uh, uh, using uh, machine learning uh, uh, techniques. As well, uh, for the supply, uh, in fact, um, for the supply, uh, uh, what we have noticed uh, is uh, you have uh, five times more information in Arabic uh, than in English about crude oil. Uh -huh. So, uh, in fact, during OPEC meetings, uh -huh, in fact, uh, it lasts uh, for two days, and uh, people from, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, Middle East, uh, I mean, like uh, to show that uh, they know many things. Uh, so you can, you know, analyze, uh, you know, the, the content uh, and to predict what is going to be the, uh, the outcome of OPEC uh, meetings. Uh, to her. Here, uh, on, um, in the center, uh, in fact, uh, uh, you can use, um, it's on a refineries and uh, the, uh, the content uh, is going to depend on uh, the height of uh, the, you have a top, which is going to depend on how much you have uh, left in the storage. So if you want to know how much uh, you have uh, in uh, you know, the refinery, it's a ratio of shadows uh, between the height of the top and the height of the storage. Uh, to, um, here on the right, if you want to see any uh, new supply uh, in uh, energy, in uh, crude oil, uh, whenever you uh, turn on or you create a crude oil well, uh, you have uh, what you call uh, lots of heat, uh, so you have the flaring uh, effect. Uh, so using infrared uh, data to detect the heat, uh, you can detect any uh, new crude oil well, and depending on the intensity uh, as well of the flaring, uh, you can estimate how much uh, you are going to have uh, in the crude oil well. Too, uh. On uh, on the upper right, uh, also. Yeah, but they don't have uh, you know, for example, in oil companies, they don't know necessarily how to analyze satellite uh, data uh, pictures, uh, for example. Uh -huh. So I can tell you that because among our customers, we have the largest energy group. Uh -huh. And uh, I mean, we know, uh, you know, we, we know, uh, yeah, we, uh, we know them too. Uh -huh. And in, it is not their job to analyze the satellite uh, data as well. Uh -huh. As well. They know Yes, and in fact, uh, this is what is a. Yeah, and in fact, uh, with their own well, uh, in fact, what you could do it is, uh, you know, you can do some collaboration with uh, some, I mean, uh, satellite data companies, uh, for example, and then you can calibrate the model, uh -huh, and then after you can see what's going on uh, with the competitors, uh, for example. Uh -huh. So this is more, you know, what they would be interested in uh, as well. Uh, too, uh. And then when you see that, it's going to tell you, as you have mentioned, about the global uh, supply, uh, either of crude oil, of fuel, of kerosene, you know, uh, etc. Uh, uh, yeah, it's public information. Uh, it's, uh, By a company beyond what it knows about itself, which presumably is more than what you know about them. Uh, let me give and you, yeah, the yes. Information conveyed by market prices. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm a participant. Mm. I know my costs. Mm. I know the price of oil. Yeah. Why oh. do I need you? Yeah, I give you an example for energy because we speak about energy. There is one big question in the energy: is China? Uh, 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 being uh, a new uh, exporter of uh, refined uh, products, and they have no idea about that. Uh -huh, in fact, uh -huh. so it's a big question because you know if uh, uh, China becomes an exporter of a uh, refined product, the price is probably going down. Uh, it's uh, possible. Uh -huh. uh, Margins are going to be impacted. Uh, but uh, if you don't use this kind of satellite data, you have no way uh, to find it uh, out. Uh -huh. So this is something. That could be interesting for this uh, energy group. Uh -huh. You know, I, I, I took this example, you know, for, uh, you know, those are new kind of competitors. I mean, one topic uh, we are very interested in is as well, metaux uh, rare uh, uh, as well. I don't know, earth, uh, <laughs> rare, rare earth, uh, I don't know how to say that. Yeah. Uh, so also to track uh, this kind of new uh, reserve of what's uh, going on uh, because Yesterday it was about a problem of coal. You know, uh, uh, you got the after you got the energy, and what we think is that uh, tomorrow, you know, because of technology, new batteries, etc., the next commodity uh, market is going to be on uh, this kind of metal, uh, and uh, China has more than 90 percent of the supply. Uh, to, uh, so it means behind that it's a geopolitics problem, uh, etc. So this is this kind of topic as well we are interested uh, in. Uh, to, uh, 
So, um, well, what I want uh, to show, I mean, uh, oh, sorry, we are able uh, to track, as I have said, uh, the different sector, you know, of uh, the economy, as well on the upper um, right, uh, we track uh, job openings uh -huh, or of uh, uh, S&P, you know, I mean, 500 companies, but as well of uh, Chinese companies. Uh. Yeah, uh, three minutes. Uh, okay, so uh, let's uh, move uh, to uh, satellite uh, data. Uh. So I give you an example about how to use machine learning from uh, satellite uh, data. We can tell you about urban. It's a pixel classification, urban versus non-urban. Uh. You, and uh, we have more than 10 years of uh, historical data of satellite data, so you can see the growth of uh, any uh, city, uh, for example. Uh, and I'm sure you don't, um, I would be surprised if you know the city in China, but it's quite a few, uh, still a few millions of people in the city. Uh -huh. So uh, there are quite a few applications on where to invest, uh, what is the probability that agricultural land uh, becomes a real estate land, uh, etc. Here, uh, it is a very interesting, uh, here, in fact, from any satellite data, now we can tell you, in a, uh, using now a deep learning, uh, uh, we can tell you if it is a hospital, a shopping mall, police station, airport, and we can track the height of, uh, the, of the building at a millimeter. Uh, to, uh, so to train this model, in fact, we have put uh, 460,000 uh, pictures uh, to train uh, the, the model uh, behind that. Uh, as well now, it's uh, early, I'm, I'm sure you know, it's about how to use a, a very high resolution satellite data, 50 centimeter per pixel. So in a systematic way, we can tell you it's a hospitality zone, commercial zone, logistics. As well, we can tell you the number of cars. You can see the number of cars in a systematic way too. So behind that, it's uh, also uh, uh, military uh, technology uh, behind. So it's as well uh, 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 deep learning for computer vision uh, for, for, for that. Uh -huh. So we have uh, published uh, with uh, CNES uh, last uh, two months ago. Uh, two. So after using hyperspectral bands, uh, we can tell you, in fact, uh, here it is a uh, coal, limestone, iron ore. Again, it is uh, in a part of China where you don't have uh, that much uh, information. So uh, this is uh, what uh, we are doing in terms of uh, Intelligence, uh, so uh, you don't have any fake news uh, when you use uh, satellite uh, data. This is a big, uh, a big uh, topic. And, uh, and uh, now, uh, we're, uh, this year, we're going to track pollution. So you have a new uh, satellite called the Sentinel-5P, where you can, it's about the atmospheric uh, composition. So you can track uh, the density of CO2, NO2, SO2. So what we're going to do is uh, to track what are the highest density of uh, NO2 and SO2 with Sentinel-5P. And then after you use another satellite, uh, which is Sentinel-2, which is Earth observation, you take a picture, uh, you identify in a systematic way what kind of manufacturing you have. Uh, and after you use uh, the speed of the wind, and it's going to tell you what is this probability that uh, this manufacturer uh, pollutes that much in terms of SO2 and uh, NO2. So this is our latest uh, research uh, project uh, for what you call the extra financial uh, indicators. So this is uh, what we are doing. And thank you very much. And if you have any question, uh, please uh, feel free to let me know. Yeah, close now to uh, 40 people. Most of them are data uh, scientists uh, from you know, from uh, top engineering uh, schools. Uh -huh. And uh, in multilingual, uh, so uh, it's a team of close to 10 people for satellite data, 10, 15 people for natural language process. And we have, for example, a specific Arabic data scientist team to analyze Arabic information. Uh, so the pre-process is in a local uh, language. We have uh, as well a Chinese uh, data scientist uh, team, uh, for example, the last competition uh, that we have done, it was how to analyze Chinese news and uh, English news to estimate the impact on the Chinese yield curve, uh, for example. Uh, and we have got a very good uh, returns on the short term part, up to five days, uh, for, uh, for example. Uh. And uh, the team uh, keep uh, growing. Uh, what I could uh, present, uh, uh, we have uh, developed a uh, la latest uh, model is uh, how to predict uh, credit ratings uh, change uh, too. Uh. So uh, you give us, uh, you know, the, the name of the issuer and we can uh, predict what is, uh, you know, the, the rating today, six months from now, one year from now. Uh, to, uh. And uh, yeah, we keep uh, recruiting data centers because uh, it's a big market uh, that we have. Uh, to, uh. Okay, thank you. Just a remark, you said that there is no fake news, but uh, 
I mean, uh, so far, just to take the example of competition in the oil, I mean, uh, the firms do not know that there are these techniques, but surely they will adjust to conceal the information. Yes, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure, but after, uh, it's, it's, I can tell you now, it's about how to estimate as well, uh, you know, let's say occupancy rate. At fir uh, of co you know of manufacturing first uh, you can count uh, you know the number of cars of trucks around uh, but after let's say if they decided to hide the trucks and cars you can use uh, you know cell phones uh, data uh, for example uh, now I didn't mention we plan to get uh, as well cell phones data GPS location of trucks you know etc et uh, we are quite careful about GDPR uh, uh, so we are GDPR compliant before it was uh, I mean as you know we have uh, Moody's as a shareholder so we are uh, very careful uh, on uh, regulation uh, and even more uh, than yeah very, very careful, uh, I would say. Uh, to, uh, uh. Our objective is uh, really on a macro basis. Uh. We use lots of data, but uh, what we are interested in is uh, really on macro basis. Uh.